This machine is aptly called by the engineers Galloping Gus. This represents the ill treatment that telephones sometimes get at the end of an unsatisfactory call. <whistles> Testing the efficiency of telephone transmitters or receivers. The loudspeaker gives out a warbling sound which is equivalent electrically to speech. The meter measures the electric current generated by the noise. This girl is going to speak first on the ordinary candlestick type of post office telephone and then on the new handset type. One, two, three, four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is the old type. One, two, three, four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is the new one. Three, four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. One, two, three, four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Here are machines for testing the dials of automatic telephones. The dials are put through as many movements in ten minutes as some would get in ten months. The wires on telephone poles are supported by cross pieces called arms, generally made of oak. The greatest strain on them is not the weight of the wires, but of the linemen who may have to work on them. As the post office objects to linemen breaking arms, whether wooden or their own, this machine is testing the breaking strength. This arm broke at a load of more than one ton. Even lamps are tested here. The ill treatment that you see is surely worse than anyone would knowingly inflict on a defenseless bulb. Another hectic period for telephones comes when they are placed in a tank full of humid air and howled at by a siren for long periods suffering the equivalent of 10 years' service in 10 hours. <coughs> Can you guess what this is? The dancing line represents both a wave motion and the variations of an alternating current which is produced by your voice when you telephone. Actually, the machine is used for instruction in the post office training school at Dollis Hill.